Jessie, the Fairy Princess Librarian, and I've come to visit all my friends at the Inverell Library. I think I see Mr. Owl over there. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Owl. What are you doing at the library today? Hello, Jessie. I've come to the library to eat my lunch. I brought apples and lime cordial. Oh no, Mr. Owl. You can't have food and drink in the library. That's not allowed. Why not? Well, there's lots of good reasons not to have food and drink in the library. Here, let me show you. Let's take a look inside a book. Why can't we have food and drinks in the library? The main reason is that food and drinks can be spilled. What a mess. Spilled food and drinks are very bad for computers. <gasps> I'd hate to accidentally break a computer. Spilled food and drinks are also very bad for books. Look at those books, they're ruined. Spilled food and drinks can lead to mold. Uh, yuck, mold is growing all over those books. Food and drinks can leave crumbs, scraps and sticky marks. My wings get sticky when I drink lime cordial. And these can attract harmful insects such as book lice, Ugh. silverfish, ah. and cockroaches. Oh no, I hate cockroaches. Insects love to eat books. See the damaged pages? Oh, they've chewed right through the book. To protect our books and computers, food and drinks must stay outside the library. Now you know that there's very good reasons not to have food and drink in the library. Thanks, Jessie. I'm happy I know how to help protect the library. I've just got one small problem. Oh? I'm still hungry! <laughs> Let's go outside and have a picnic. We can have the food outside the library and then come inside when we're finished. Sounds great, Jessie!